I think their running stats are the highest in the division. So, you know, that's, that's just the way they play, Leroy. You know, they kind of, they get after every team. And I think United did well to match them there. But I think mistakes cost them early on in the game. You know, turnovers and possession, maybe one or two Phillips out of position. Mm. Look, they're, you know, they're, they're brilliant at what they do, but they play a bit, they play a bit dangerous, don't they, Leroy? You know, and if you get picked off against a team like United, then you're going to suffer. Once you get one down and you're chasing the game, then it's, then it's hard. I, I mean, I think you're absolutely right. It's amazing how 10 yards can make a massive difference. I mean, saw it in your analysis then. You know, if the back four just went 10 yards further forward, it means that when they lost possession, the one, the, one of the back four could actually go and engage. But because they're 10 yards too deep, that's why they're always running back to their goal. And I think you showed it in the analysis brilliantly. Yeah. Would you change much, Leroy, if you were Marcelo Bielsa? Would you, would, you, would you change much or would you just say, no, this is the way I do it. This is what I do. I'm going to get, I'm going to get a hide in when, when it doesn't go right. But when it does go right, I think I can win matches. What would you do? I think, although they can mention it in this question, they seem to be getting tired. What I would do, I rotate. Uh, a little bit more than Bielsa does because, you know, in previous seasons, Andy, certainly in the championship, they've run out of steam and they are getting tired. When they play like they do week in, week out, people like Bamford seem to play every week. Phillips seems to play every week when he's fit. I would rotate a little bit more if he wants to get the best out of this squad. Uh, you watch this Leeds team. If he keeps that starting eleven, I think you'll, 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 you'll see them just run out of steam towards the end of the season. Talk to me about Scott McTominay's performance, Leroy, at the weekend, because obviously he caught the eye with his goals, but his all-round game as well was, e- was excellent, wasn't it? Absolutely outstanding, Andy. And it was a performance I, I didn't see coming, in, in all honesty. You know, I love to see midfield players not only get forward, but get beyond the, the front players. And Scott did it brilliantly. Uh, look, I've just gonna, got this clip here. Uh, and I'm just going to pause it here, because what we got used to, and I was really surprised Oli, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer said he used to be a centre-forward, he's a number eight, he can do this all day long. I'm just going to highlight Fred... Fred and, and McTominay and when they've played that's where they've been throughout the game even in possession of the ball we've been yeah Bruno Fernandes has played in front Pogba has got forward but these two guys have been asked to sit for the most part and be, be that shield but this is more like what I expect from, from Man United and you see he sees the space in front of him and he's an athletic lad he's a big lad and he just makes up the ground and, and it's a wonderful strike obviously Lovely, yeah. and that gave him the confidence to get forward I like this even better because this is something I didn't see from him uh, uh, earlier on in, in the season. He makes that run uh, into that space, which is brilliant. He, he recognises the space, uh, he recognises the space and he, and he gets into it brilliantly. What I like as well is watch what Fred does. This is how midfield play should work. One should get forward and one should support. And it's as simple as that. And I think they should work like this all the time. You'll find that not only McTominay, but Fred will get, get more opportunities. And this touch, I'm going to slow it down because it's a wonderful touch. If that's Martial, if that's uh, Pogba, we're saying it's world class. It's a world class touch. Makes it look very easy, but it's really amazing when players are confident in the things they do. And he did that brilliantly. And it's a wonderful finish. And, and it's something I want to now see more of. I want to see McTominay getting in the box. His athleticism for midfield was outstanding. And what it did for Man United as a team, I don't know if you remember, uh, Andy, I did a thing on, on Man City and the five, five lanes, Andy, a few yeah. weeks ago. Man United, because he got forward, they were attacking on five fronts. There's the five, three, four, five and they were leaving the five behind and all of a sudden I know look I know this was Leeds and they allowed them to get forward but that's what Man United fans want to see they want to see five and five especially uh, uh, Old Trafford and we saw it in abundance obviously because Leeds allowed them to now I think this needs this needs to be a catalyst for Man United and McTominay to say look should he be getting double figures in goals should he be thinking about if he can do that if he's got the athleticism to get up and back and run with the ball like this. Look at them. Look, they're like the, 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 the flying arrows there. Look at them go. And again, I'll just pause it there. Look at the back five. That is, that's how Man United should be. They should be like that with one in front all the time. And then, if they can, get the fullbacks getting forward because that's what we expect from a Man United side. And that's what really pleased me about the, their performance this weekend, Andy, yeah. more than anything. Very good. In many ways, Owen, um, in many ways... Leeds were the perfect opponent for Manchester United because they dominate possession, because they come flying at you. They give all those spaces, don't they, for, uh, for, for McTominay and those, and those midfield players to, to dominate. Can United, with Scott McTominay and Fred in the middle of midfield, because one of the things, Leroy, that's, that's often, often put about Manchester United is, I mean, can they dominate possession and win a game? Can those guys 
be the architects of something very, very clever and dominate the ball a la Rodri and Kevin De Bruyne and those sort of guys. Can they do that? I don't, I don't see that. You know, I love Scott. I think, I think he's a really good player. I think he, they've asked to, I think he could be a, he plays centre back for Scotland, but I think his greatest attribute is to run. And Leroy showed it great on those clips, the fact that he's really transitioning. He's a big lad. He's, he's like 6'3. You know, when he gets moving, he's hard to stop. So I don't think you want him to sit. I think you want him to do that. He could be a Jordan Henderson type player. I think he really could grow into that and develop that. But I think in terms of dominating possession now, Fred and Scott can't really do that. That's why you should play Bruno and Paul. But then you need a world-class defensive midfield player to go with that, like right. a Kante type with that front three. So I think Oli played that way out of respect for Leeds. That's yeah. how good Leeds are. That's why Paul didn't play, Paul Pogba, because he was worried about being too open with the front three with Fernandes and Pogba. And that's why Scott played. And, yeah. you know, maybe they'll play different in the next game. But to dominate, you need more flair players like Pogba. And I think Fred and McTominay are great at the, make them the best counter-attacking team in the Premier League. Yep. But uh, as Leroy showed there, but to dominate possession, no, I don't see that happening. No. Leroy, you got a question? Yeah, a couple of quick questions for, for Owen. Ru- Ruby D says, why doesn't Lampard and Arteta get as much scrutiny as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at, at United? Yeah, good question. Yeah, you know, I think he's. I think what since he's come into the into the division, I think he's what. He's, especially since Bruno Fernandes come in, Leroy, I think they'd be second. You know, in the Premier League. So, I think he's many eyes one of the biggest clubs in the world. You know, and people just everybody seems to have an opinion. And I think because he's, you think about the managers he beaten, Leroy. Yeah. You know, he's beaten Pep. He's beaten Tuchel. He's beaten. You know, he's beaten some of the best, the best managers we've seen. Klopp, he's beaten everyone. So if he can beat the best teams, the best managers, then I think he's doing a great job. I mean, again, look, this graphic here, Owen, showing that since pretty much the same time as where we are now two years ago, um, only Liverpool and City have acquired more points than, than the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Manchester United. And let's be honest, you know, and like you said yesterday, the goal is to be the top. But the problem is it's step by step. Man United are, are behind Liverpool and City because of recruitment and because they're not really together on a page in terms of how they're acquiring players and building the team. But that is about the best Man United can do right now, in my opinion. To be third in, you know, with all the firepower that everybody has and all the money being spent, that tells you Ole is in the place that he should be. They're not good enough to win the league. No. You know, and they're not the second best team either. No. So third is about right and the, the points don't lie. Leroy, one more. Well, I was going to ask this question, but Owen, you just answered it. You just said they weren't good enough to win the league. And Kevin says, Owen, with this latest result, can United make a serious challenge for the title? I hope so, but I, I don't think they'll have enough of a 38-game season. You've got to remember, Leroy, you know, after six games, they had lost three. You know, everybody was really worried. Two weeks ago, they went out in the Champions League in, in not great fashion. They've been slightly inconsistent, but the thing is, they're the form team right now in the division. And I think if they can continue in this fashion, you know, they'll be one of the best teams. But I think we've seen Liverpool are, Liverpool are the strongest team and the most consistent. Great stuff, Leroy. Thank you very much. Now, we've got a little quiz question for you before we get to the break. We're going to focus in part two, of course, on that 